Hey everyone, uh, I'm really very excited to announce one very interesting opportunity for the 2024 batch students. Uh, so Stripe is hiring 2024 batch students for full-time role. So Stripe is a company which is like a payment uh, solutions provider and you can uh, visit the official website for the detailed information about the company. So this particular opportunity is only for 2024 batch students. I'm going to share in detail about the skills required, how to apply, what is the application process. Generally, the package or CTC offered by Stripe to uh, fresh graduates is basically around 5 to 7 LPA. You can say that according to reviews shared on Glassdoor, but it can be more than that or there can be some changes as well. Uh, so let us go through the opportunity. So this is the company. So let me just uh, show you where we uh, found out this particular opportunity. So I'll just go down to jobs. Uh, I'll click on see open roles. And basically uh, it is multinational company. So let me select uh, their India office, which is in Bengaluru. Okay. So here I'll just scroll down and you will find here. Software engineering new grad. Okay. <clears throat> so this is basically uh, a full-time opportunity. This is not an internship opportunity and the location is going to be Bangalore. Okay. So this is the information they have given about Stripe. It is basically financial infrastructure platform for businesses. Millions of companies from around the world uh, are basically their clients. Okay. This is about the team. Okay. And uh, what you will exactly do. So as a company, they believe in end-to-end -end ownership of projects. For any given project, uh, they have one person on point. Okay. So uh, this you can go through what exactly. Now here are the responsibilities. You have to work on cross-functional projects, directly collaborating with other engineers, give meaningful feedback on code reviews and technical designs, ensure that the systems your team operates continue running well and can scale to meet the needs of the users. Okay. You have to build other skills to own a project from beginning to end, learning project management and technical leadership skills. So even if this is a opportunity for freshers, the responsibilities look like basically they want you to take a, a role, a, a management role, a technical lead role. Basically, you will get to learn a lot in this particular company because this is not a big size mass hiring company. Okay. So uh, anyone getting this opportunity, you'll get to learn a lot. Okay. Now, so what are they expecting? They are looking for someone who meets the minimum requirements. If you want to be considered for the role and if you are meeting the minimum requirements, then you can apply. The preferred qualifications are a bonus and not required. So if there are a lot of applications, probably they will check out for the preferred qualifications, but minimum requirements are required. Okay. Now, what are the requirements? A bachelor's master's or PhD degree in computer science or directly related field obtained by summer 2024 or equivalent work experience. So basically you have to obtain your bachelor's master's or PhD degree by summer of 2024. So all the 2024 batch students will be graduating next year by May, June, 2024. You can apply for this particular opportunity. Okay. Now. You need to have some experience and familiarity with programming, definitely, either through side projects or classwork. So you have to do some extra project or your academic projects. They mostly work in Java, Ruby, JavaScript, Scala and Go language. They believe new programming languages can be learned if the fundamentals and the general knowledge are present. So basically, uh, if you are very good in C++ or Python, but if your fundamentals are very good, then they believe that you can learn new language. So, but if you have already know some of these languages, then it is well and good. Okay. Experience from either previous internships or working collaboratively on a multi-person coding projects in a university or a professional setting. So they are going to basically focus more on projects. They are going to focus on previous internships. So the candidates who are having good project, good number of projects, if we have done a previous internships, then they can probably be getting shortlisted. So let me uh, tell you one very important thing over here. Basically, the first round for this particular company is going to be resume shortlisting. Okay. So your resume has to be very, very crisp. It has to contain keywords like these particular skills required. 
it needs to have projects which are showcased properly okay so make sure that your resume is well built before you apply for this particular opportunity okay so first round is going to be resume shortlisting second round will be probably a coding round on hacker rank okay so uh, and then there will be interview round so first challenge is going to be to create a good resume and make sure you mention the properly the keywords and everything and you have to apply Next, these are some of the preferred qualifications. So if you are satisfying the minimum requirements, then these will be the uh, qualifications or uh, skills which will help you to uh, gain advantage over other applicants. So one or more areas specialized knowledge balanced with general skills and knowledge such as front-end technologies at a high level, how service handles an HTTP request. So if you know this particular thing, it will be added advantage. If you have any experience in code review practices and understand how to safely update production systems, this is again going to be added advantage. Familiarity with navigating and managing work in large code bases. Okay. So this is basically three skills. I think will only come if you have done any particular internship or really worked on some big project. Okay. The pay and benefits. So basically they have not mentioned about the pay, but according to Glassdoor reviews, it will be around seven LPA. Okay. So uh, you can click on apply now. Okay. So apply for this role. Now let us check what they are asking in this particular uh, form. So you have to enter your first name, last name, email ID, phone number, resume CV. Make sure this is very, very proper. Make sure you attach a cover letter. Now, what is a cover letter guys? Cover letter is nothing but just one page application letter in which you are going to mention about your strengths and why you are suitable for this role or why the company should select you for this particular role. So that is what you have to mention in your cover letter. Okay. So probably if they're asking skills on Java, JavaScript or Ruby or Scala and Go language. And if you know any of these languages, then you can mention that you are good in these languages. They have mentioned that they want students who have done projects, worked on projects. So you can mention the projects which you have done. Okay. And uh, that letter should basically convince the recruiter that you are the perfect candidate for this particular role. So you can um, basically attach a cover letter. It is not a compulsory field, but I recommend to attach a cover letter or you can even enter manually. So by typing also, you can mention it. Resume, make sure it is a PDF format properly formatted. Here you have to select your college name. And if your college, they, uh, see, they have already mentioned over here. We are always aiming to keep our school list inclusive of all institutions. If you do not see your university listed in the previous question, please choose other and let us know your school name here. So if your college or university name is not there, just type other. Okay. Yes. Here you have to enter your degree. So whether it is a bachelor's degree or master's degree and you have to enter your discipline. So discipline, I'll enter computer science. So here I have to enter the start year. Okay. So if you are a 2024 batch students, it will be start year would be 2020. Okay. Here, uh, I can enter another school if you want to enter your previous college, but not necessary. So I'll just remove that. Okay. Now. Preferred name, not necessary. Pronouns, not necessary. Okay. LinkedIn profile, GitHub link, you can mention over here. Have you ever been employed by Stripe? It would be no. Tell us a little bit more about you and why you think you would be good fit at Stripe. So basically uh, this, uh, this is a basically an answer you need to uh, give. Basically it would be like why we should select you. So that answer you need to give over here. Okay. Okay. So this particular question, you can just uh, keep it blank. Okay. Uh, then you can just move down. Have you completed your bachelor's master's or PhD degree in computer science or related field, or you will have completed by the end of 2024? Yes. So you have to select it. Yes. Okay. Relevant to this role, how many years of non-internship experience you have? So non-internship, you have to select zero to one because you are a fresher. Okay. Are you currently eligible to work in India? Yes. Do you require any visa sponsorship to work in India? No. Okay. Then you have to select here. I understand. And you have to submit the application. Okay. So I'll click on submit, but now I have to enter all the data. So you have to enter everything and then basically click on submit application. 
Okay. So any other query guys, you can just comment on this particular video. Guys, if you're a 2024 batch student, a lot of off-campus opportunities are coming up nowadays. But the thing is that the students are not ready with the skills. Okay. So now if you check, there will be a lot of more of opportunities. And if you have not prepared yet, I would really recommend you to prepare with complete placement preparatory masterclass by Talent Battle. Okay. So in this particular masterclass, this currently I have uh, opened up the six month subscription. So in this subscription, basically you will get everything required for placements on campus and off campus opportunity. So 400 plus hours of live and self-paced training for aptitude, count, reasoning, verbal programming, all four languages. Okay. Database management systems, OS, computer networks, latest technologies like full stack, full stack. Most of the companies are requiring that particular knowledge. Okay. So in full stack, it is like everything like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, advanced JavaScript, angular JS, node JS, react JS, how to uh, build your GitHub profile. Okay, a lot more uh, modules are included in full stack, AIML certification, 25 plus projects. So everything is included guys, which is required. So if you are a 2024 batch student, you can go for a six months or one year of subscription so that till your placement, you will get resources to prepare. Here is the uh, syllabus brochure. You can go through this and uh, there is a study plan as well, which we have included. Okay, so you can uh, go through this particular page as well. The application link for this opportunity is mentioned in our uh, di video description and the link for masterclass is also present in the video description. Also guys, you can join our uh, off campus placement updates, WhatsApp group. The link is there in the description of the video. Okay. If you have liked the way we have shared this opportunity, kindly click the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon so that next time we upload anything new, you will get a notification. Thank you. See you in the next video.